All right, group. So this is actually one of my favorite lessons to teach about eye color, because uh, it's pretty complicated and it's I think extremely interesting why people have such different shades of eye color. So the first thing I'm going to say is my little disclaimer is that there's actually a bunch of stuff that currently right now in 2015 there's a lot of things that scientists still don't know about eye color. Um, so I'm going to give you the basis of kind of what we do know because there's all different shades. All right. So the first thing I want to talk about is first of all why are eyes brown. Um, that's important. It's from an evolutionary point of view. Eyes are brown because we have this stuff called melanin that protects our eyes from the sun. That's the reason that our hair is brown and a lot of um, pigment in our skin has different shades of brown. It's to protect us from the sun. So it's honestly almost like a like our eyes are painted brown to protect us from the sun. And there's different shades of it depending on how much melanin you have. So that's why eyes are brown. But now this question here of why are eyes blue is different. And you see the picture I have in front of you and I have the question of why is the sky blue? Because what's really interesting about blue eyes, unlike brown eyes, it's not like we have blue paint, like we kind of have brown paint. The reason we have blue eyes is exactly the same reason why the sky is blue. So very short and sweet, why the sky is blue is because the light from the sun comes in and basically only the blue wavelength hits the uh, atmosphere and bounces all around and you get this blue color. So it's not like there's actually anything blue in the sky, it's just that only the blue light is reflected. So the exact same principle actually applies to blue eyes. We don't have, like I said, blue paint. It's that when light comes in, what it really means is that they don't have any brown paint or brown melanin. So it's empty, if you will, in some ways of color. So the light kind of bounces all around and then out comes this beautiful blue color. So the reason people have blue eyes is because they have a gene that turns off the melanin production in part of their eye. So what's left is just this bouncing around light that makes blue, which I thought was extremely interesting. So it's kind of like this little um, creepy diagram I have. So everyone essentially has blue eyes underneath. And then if you have a little bit of melanin, you kind of get this green color. That's where green eyes come from. It's because you have a little bit of melanin over that brown eyes, I'm sorry, over blue eyes. And then if you have a lot of melanin, then what it means is that you have brown eyes. So that is because you have lots of melanin. And so really all the eye color really is, is you start off with essentially blue eyes if you have nothing, green eyes if you have a little bit, and brown eyes if you have a lot. And like I said, there's all different shades and stuff like that that make it more complicated, but that's the general gist of it. So what's interesting as well is about baby's eye color. So I'm going to just use my own daughter. So this is my daughter here at a few months old. And you can see from the picture that she has these dark um, kind of blue eyes. And this is actually a, a better picture with better light. And you can see her eyes are blue. And the reason for that is pretty much most Caucasian babies start off with this bluish kind of eyes because they just haven't had the melanin come in yet. So most start off with blue eyes. I know this is a very kind of scary close-up of my child, so sorry about that. But this is her um, a little bit later, and again, the picture is kind of hard to see, but she has brown eyes now. Um, so a year later, her eyes are nice and brown because her melanin has come in. So babies start off with blue eyes simply because they haven't made the melanin just yet. And there's albinism, or someone who is an albino. If you've ever seen someone who's an albino, what that means, it's a condition where you don't make any melanin, so your hair is white and your skin is really white, and you'll see that the eyes are pretty blue um, because same idea. There's no melanin in them. So that is the gist of like why eye colors are the way they are. So now what we're going to explore is um, our Punnett squares with eye colors and our genotypes because it's a little bit different. So here's what you need to know. In our world that we're talking about right now, there's three eye colors. Let's say brown, green, and blue. And blue is always recessive and green is dominant over blue but brown is dominant over everything so i'm going to say it again because it's a little tricky brown gene is dominant over everything if you, the, if you have the brown gene in your body you're going to have brown eyes but if you have the green gene and no brown eyes gene then you end up with green so the only way to possibly have blue is to not have the brown eye gene and to not have the green eye gene. That's why there's two um, different letters here because it's actually on two different chromosomes. So here are the genotypes. Um, you don't necessarily need to memorize them, but here um, explains it. So you see anywhere there's a capital B, you're brown. Anywhere there's not a capital B but there's a G, you're green, and all lowercase is blue. 
So when you do Punnett squares, let's, I'm just going to do one Punnett square so you see the idea. Let's say parent one is this and parent two is this. So parent one has brown eyes because they have a big B. Parent two has green eyes because they have a big G and no little Bs. So if you haven't already watched my video on dihybrid squares, make sure you check that out because it's the exact same process. So I'm going to skip forward. And when you make the parents, you do FOIL method. And parent one up here would be this. Parent two down here would be this. And then you complete your punt square. And again, I'm going to fast forward because I'm hoping you know how to do a dihybrid square, but you'll get all these crazy letters here. And when you do that, it'll tell you what percent will be brown and blue and green. So you have to be able to read them. So when you look at it, again, I'm going to fast forward again, that all of these would be brown eyes because they all have B. So it means that 8 out of 16 or half the kids would have brown eyes. You have 6 out of 16 would have green eyes and only 2 out of 16 would have blue eyes. So if you want to try some extra ones, you can try this one, which actually is the same one. So you can try it or you can make up your own or um, try some different ones. So that explains where eye color comes from and also how to do the Punnett squares. There's lots of wonderful videos that show eye color that um, I would also recommend that you check out. Okay.